three steps down with the ladder. And then you got access on the front side of the motor as well as the top side. All that opens up. See all that in the photos online. Upgraded control panel for the motor. Nice nav table. 12 volt DC frigid switches as well as a plug. Lots of counter space in the galley as well as plenty of storage down below and behind. Nice and clean and organized. Got a two burner stove top, fresh water sink. Got these covers pulled off. Again, clean and organized. Nice chiller plate on it. That runs off a of shore power. Easy access to all your bilge area with these pull up panels. Nice and dry. All right, moving forward. Nice size locker here. Also very deep. Got the onboard head, the port. Keeping it simple with a composting toilet. Some storage shelf behind it, as well as above and below the sink, and a small medicine cabinet and mirror. There is a privacy curtain that goes up on these hooks here. And then you've got storage under the V-berth. These cushions have all been redone recently. They look in great shape. Nice natural light with the three side hatches, as well as the hatch up top with a screen on it. Giving you that nice nighttime breeze when sleeping out on the hook. And then lots of storage in addition to the drawers under the V-Bird. See if I can get this one too while holding the camera. Plenty of room. Get all those dry goods out of the way. And then you've got easy access to your anchor chain forward. Plenty of room there. Let's go ahead and get the engine uncovered. We'll crank it up, show you how it runs. Yeah. Yeah, we got 334 hours. Your eyes are better than mine. Looks like a 334.1. Temps coming up. Bolts look good. That's right at 800 RPM then? Okay. Good. Ready for a long motor and beautiful sailing. Take some time, check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com. Give me a call today with any specific questions. Let's get you out there exploring and having a great time on the water.